Hey, what's going on guys? We're back for another episode of Lightning Returns. Last time we left off here in the Aramite Plains and um, I said, uh, here I'm going to bring up the map here real quick. I said I'm going to enter Pota, which is this explanation mark here, through Yag Village. But before I do that, I'm going to come up from here and I'm not going to go all the way down to Pota yet. Um, here, maybe this will make it more obvious. I'm going to set up a couple of markers indicating a couple of items I want to collect uh, that will make my life a bit easier. Let's see. How do I change the thing again? I don't remember. All right, anyways, it doesn't really matter. So the first item I want to collect is right here. Oh, here we go. And this indicates, I think it's somewhere around there. I'm not too sure anymore. Uh, a crim mushroom. Now, if you don't remember, the lady back in Yagd Village says that she needs a crim mushroom for some kind of potion or <laughs> some kind of med medicine, I don't know. But that's basically where it is. And now I'm going to place a couple more markers indicating uh, more items. So first one, let's see if I can get this just right, is here. And what I'm doing right now is placing markers uh, on places where there are items called Rocky Kregmos. Uh, if you have played this game before, you would know that these items are used for quests. And, you know, like, just really small subquests, but I want to collect them anyways. Because I feel like, might as well just get it out of the way right now. Uh, so, there are six of them in total. I've already placed three down. Uh, let's see where that fourth one is. It's right here. Somewhere. Like, once I get there, I don't know where it is. And that's four. Let's go with number five, which is... Um, I don't want to put it in the wrong place now because if I if I'm wandering around uh, trying to look for it, you know. Okay, can I place another one? Okay, it, it, there's no. Okay, I can place ten markers onto the map. I just, I just thought there was no more room. Um, the final one is right here. All right, good to go. So while on my way to Pota, the next destination for our main quest, I'm going to visit all these areas and collect my items. So first up is that Crim Mushroom that I've marked with the red pin over there. So let's go right now. Oh, what the heck is that? Oh my god. It just hit me. Let's fight it. Um. Oh man. Okay, it obviously absorbs fire. That sucks. Oh my god, and the attacks hurt. You know what? Oh shoot, I need to kill the other thing first. That floating plant thing? He's annoying. Come on now, oh man, I'm getting rusty at this game. Can't do it anymore. Okay, there. At least that thing is dead. Now, let's see if I can heal up a little bit with my Mediguard. Oh my god, that thing is too strong. Okay. Obviously, ice damage works well on him. Nothing else really works. What's going on? Why can't I kill this thing? Wow, staggered, nice. There we go. <laughs> that was actually interesting. I did not expect it to be that difficult. That's exactly what I'm writing, Hope. Yeah, you see that mushroom right there, up there? That is my crim mushroom that I need to collect for a quest. So, very simple. Just fly with a chocobo right here, and we'll collect it. There we go. And I saw a chest back there too, which I am going to conveniently grab. 
Hopefully something useful. Windwalker bracelet. I don't actually remember what that does. Quickly gonna check that out. Um, okay. So I get wind attribute attacks for the first 60 seconds of my battle. Mm, it's not great. <laughs> Maybe I'll use it later. Uh, for now. Oh yes. I'm gonna collect these things. Um, you know what? Instead of going from Yag Village, I'm just gonna... Uh, while I'm collecting these items over here, I'm just gonna make my way down there to, uh, to pick up a quest. Okay. Not too worried about the time anymore, I mean, I have so much time. Still six days left until Doomsday. Alright, whoa. This is a Chaos Infusion. Um, should I fight these things in the Chaos Infusion? Yeah, I feel like I'm up for it. Oh man, I'm, I'm gonna get owned. Here we go. You gotta kill the small dudes first. So, and these things are weak to wind. Hmm. Oh my god, so annoying. There we go, one down. Nope, nope. Oh, he's the last guy left? Okay. I thought there were more small dudes. You know, I'm trying to guard. But these attack delays are getting me, man. Oh, man. It sucks not having an ATB. I'm gonna... I'm gonna do this. Simply because I know this is a Chaos Infusion and I'm getting more AP out of it anyways. Guard! Oh, I like that my chocobo is helping me. What's your most valuable treasure? Come on now. Yeah, here we go. If only I had some ATB to use. There we go. Whew. That was nice. And all I get is absolutely nothing, of course. What else did I expect? Um, checking the map real quick. Okay. Just so that I don't go the wrong way. And I'm going to collect my item up here. Ignoring these guys. And is there a way up there? Oh, come on. There must be a way up there. Nope. Aha, uh -huh, here we go. And yes, here we go. As I mentioned, these sparkly things on the ground are called Rocky Kregmos. Let's go on to the next one. Which is over there. Good. And along the way here, I'm hoping that I could encounter a very specific enemy. Um, if it shows up, I'll fight it. Otherwise, I'll just leave it alone. Or maybe I'll look for it. It's kind of important. It's like just this huge plant flower bud thing. I don't know how to describe it. We fought it once and oh there it is. There it is. Um Do I wanna fight it now or do I wanna Oh, let's collect this thing first so I don't have to come back up here. And hopefully he won't disappear. Good. Let's go, whatever you're called, I don't remember. Show him what you can do. Astro Protoflorian. That's a cool name. <laughs> Oh, I need to switch up this fire I have on this um, on this schema with something else. It's not working out. Oh, wanted to guard against that. Whatever. So the deal with this thing is uh, he actually changes uh, attributes during battle, and. Um, Basically, whatever attribute he changes to, you switch. You start using attacks that are the opposite 
elemental attribute. And once you do that, he actually takes a lot of damage. So there we go. So now he's wind, which means I want to hit him with what is wind light or lightning damage. So I'm gonna do this. Too bad I don't have too many lightning damage attacks. Oh my god. Can I even win against this thing? Whoops. He's fire now, which means ice. Yeah, I definitely need more um, elemental attacks right now. I'll try to stagger anyways. <laughs> this thing might be a uh, bigger ch challenge than I thought. Come on, block. Nope. I was in the middle of an attack. <sighs> oh no, he's ice now, which means fire. He needs fire attacks. Good, I'll have some fire attacks. There we go. Hit him with some physical attacks because I have nothing else. But very weak to fire right now. Let's guard against that. Oh, here now he's lightning, which means we're gonna do wind. Got that gale strike here. Oh my god, this guy takes so long. And he keeps on changing. Oh crap. Okay. Oh my god, I didn't time that correctly. Damn it. Fire, huh? Keep up if you can. Yeah, I'm sure I'll, I'll get better at this once I switch my setup a little bit because right now I'm just... I'm missing some elemental attacks. Like, it's just not enough to stagger him. There we go. Finally. He's dead. After this. Whew! Life burns brighter at the edge of death. Definitely gonna have to switch up some stuff if I want to fight this thing consistently. Damn. Alright, let's just do that right now. The only thing I really need to switch up is on this, um... On this thing, I need I need not fire. I need something uh, like a thunder or something if I have it. Uh, let's see, Thundara. There, perfect. Good to go. And actually, by fighting that enemy, um, we've completed another side quest. So even though we haven't really accepted that quest yet, I know we've completed it. So. <laughs> um, oh man, I totally just ran into a dead end. I plan to do a lot more before venturing inside. I hate to waste too much time on side quests, but yeah. I did plan to finish this game, like, you know, be as thorough as possible with this game. While, while finishing the main story, obviously. And because of that, I don't want to miss any of the side quests. So here's another Rocky Craigmore. Okay. That's three down, three to go. We're gonna collect that one right now. 
the one right to the west. Yeah, sorry if I'm checking up on the map a lot. Uh, I just need to be absolutely certain where I'm going, you know? Alright. That's that one. And, um... The next one is down there. I think I can reach that by coming around here, so... Alright. I don't want to fight you. Leave me alone. Oh, no. Am I going the right way? Here. Here's another Chaos Infusion. Maybe I'll fight something that will give me some EP. And I'm just going to fight this qu very quick. Okay. Collect my soul seeds. And uh, this one. Let's see if I can get up there. Oh, it's another one of those. I'm going to leave that for later. Because I'm kind of focused on this one thing right now. So that's my Magus Turban. I'm going to quickly check out what that does. Let's see. Resist magic 20%. Not bad. Alright. Now our sixth and final Rocky Craig Mole is all the way up there. Uh, let's go grab that right now. Yeah, you need to collect all six if you want to do all the side quests in this game. Which is kind of annoying, like seeing like the very first time I was doing this, and this was when the game first released, you know, I had no idea where the hell they were. I was just looking blindly, I'm like, oh my god, where are these stupid things? And um, once I found them all, I'm like, okay, if I'm playing this game again in the future, I'm definitely not going to be looking for those again. So I quickly uh, marked down where they were, took a screenshot of it, and that's the screenshot I'm using right now. Uh, well, the one I used uh, like 10 minutes ago to mark out the locations of these, um, of these items. So now I know and I don't have to run around aimlessly trying to look for them. Let's see if I can get that treasure chest. Okay. Thorn of Warding. Uh, I think that's you sacrifice a little bit of health in every single battle, but you get um, protect, I think it was, at the beginning of battle. It's not as good as the Thorn of Speed, that one that gives us haste. I'm already using that one. Haste is awesome. Okay. Should be around here somewhere, unless I marked it wrong. Oh boy. Did I mark it wrong? Oh, no, no, right there, right there, I see it. Approximately correct. There we go. And that's all six of them, guys. We're good to go. I'm gonna fight this thing real quick, off screen, obviously. Okay, that was actually a lot easier than the first time because I switched my setup. But the whole battle was about the same thing, you know, just. Switching elements and uh, attacking him with different magic. You know, like, if you don't know what you're doing against him, he could be very, very troublesome. Like, not extremely powerful. His attacks are quite weak. But the battle was long, just like all the other large enemies. Plenty of HP. And um, they do like to put up regen. So if you can't do enough damage, then he's actually gaining HP as opposed to losing it, you know? Alright, so we're back here in the Yagd village, and I want to get something done here. If there is something to be done here. Hopefully there is. <laughs> Let's see, here we go, Hunter Chief. Ah yes, well done. I heard what you did, how you helped our Hunter Hopeful pass his trial. I didn't know it was for a trial. If I had, I would have refused him. It matters not. His wits and guile have made him a hunter true, and that's a fact. Here in the Wildlands, our human laws pale to nothing in the face of nature's grim, unyielding certainties. He has grit and perseverance. Those are useful qualities in a hunter. Qualities you do not lack. I have heard about your exploits against the monsters out here. I am proud of my fighting skills, but it's a misplaced pride when they are set against yours. 
A warrior like you could serve as an inspiration to many of us. Tell me, will you help out our young hunters and be a model for them? A model? Yes, that's right, a role model, I mean. The new recruits are eager, but still wet behind the ears. They don't know what it takes to defeat a truly powerful monster. You can show them and give them something to strive for. All right, so the side quest is just defeat a powerful monster, and guess what? That Aster Protoflorian was actually what we were looking for. Why not? I knew you would agree. How about a little warm up first? Easy pickings for the likes of you. Sure, let's do it. Okay, maybe it's something like else for the first part of it but I know for a fact that uh, it has something to do with this this quest that big thing we just killed earlier that is uh, three monster mints I already have that so let's do it impressive perhaps for you the challenge was insufficient think of it as preparation the next challenge will be a true test of your abilities your prey shall be the proto Florian an innocuous name, perhaps, but this is one flower whose petals deliver deadly blows. The creature holds court in Rocky Crag, where many a fellow hunter have fallen victim to its might. None of us have yet managed to slay it. I fear that it will be too much for you alone. Heed my words, for my warning is not given lightly. You risk your life facing this beast. I'll survive. A giant protoflorian. It must be one of the ancient weapons that ran amok long ago. Somehow it survived until now. Of course, I've fought it before. We knew it as the Aster Protoflorian. It was one of the toughest battles Hope and I fought. <laughs> I like how Lightning is reminiscing about that. Yeah, in Final Fantasy XIII, uh, one of the first bosses you fight actually was that Protoflorian. Obviously a completely different battle, but he uses about the same attacks. And yeah, battle system is different obviously. All right, we already got it, so let's turn it in. You, you have defeated it. Can that monster be truly dead? Such a day I never expected to see. I stand before you awed and humbled. Please, forgive me my amazement. Of course, I, I did not doubt you. That is why I asked you, after all. You have lifted a shadow that darkened the wild lands for many years. Right. Sounds like I did you a favor. That talk about being a role model for your young hunters was just a ploy to get me to tidy up a problem. I will not deny it. By destroying the menace, you killed two birds with one stone. I had intended to assist you in the quest. However, by the time I was ready, you had already done the deed. Either way, your famous feat has served my original purpose. The young hunters cannot stop talking about you. Indeed, I too have been inspired to take my bow into the hinterlands in search of fresh game. Yeah, well, don't do anything stupid. Who would look after the other hunters if you got killed? Thanks to you, they've seen what a brave and skilled fighter can achieve. They don't need me to coddle them. Perhaps none of us can grow as powerful as you. But as long as you inspire us, we need not fear death, nor any beast that prowls the wildlands. What well, good for you, sir. That is the right attitude. Alright, so for completing this quest, we get a garb called Soldier of Peace, and... A little adornment and oh good stats too. Eight strength for magic. Nice. Alright, so there's another side quest to be taken here in the Yagd village before I go on with the main quest. But I think we're out of time for this episode right now. So um I'm gonna be doing that next time. Thank you guys for watching this episode of Lightning Returns. Join me back next time. Uh it might be a few days before I post that video because I've been doing some stuff recently. Um but never mind any of that. Stay tuned for the next episode.